This Thousand Year Blower Ruka is still by far one of the more disappointing releases of the entire year, and some of them are even stating that Ruka is even bad in guild quests, which is what she was designed for. Which... Alright. I did showcase her at Max Transcendence, and I'll definitely say that I could have improved a bit more, and now I'm kind of regretting not uh, putting in a bit more time to get a more polished run for guild quests, but I figure the best thing to pretty much do would be to showcase her at 1-5 in Guild Quest. So, I want to give a big shout out to the homie Scar for once again allowing me to do so because I did record some videos of her performance in both Very Hard Guild Quest and in the Nightmare difficulty. Just to show you guys that once again, she isn't as bad as many people make it out to be. Like, <laughs> it's so crazy how this character is apparently being called worse than Yumi Chika when Yumi Chika, I have to be honest, he really is not good at 1-5. He really isn't. Just not being able to have the increased element chance against the likes of Soul Reapers makes it even more difficult for being able to get the 80% SP boost, proc the drain, do more damage, get the job done. And not to mention, they even decided to completely screw over the uh, mob's positioning for whatever reason in the Nightmare difficulty, where normally the bosses are placed around the center of the map. However, for whatever reason, they decided to completely move them around at like the top left, top right corner, which was really stupid. I don't know why K-Lab did that. They just made Rukia and Yumichika worse for no apparent reason. And let's not forget, this is still a times three damage GQ rotation, which is why you don't really expect these characters to perform better than the times five damage multiplier uh, GQs. Like, just to give you guys an example, Kenpachi, with all of his DPS factored in, he is stronger than Gremi to the point that in very hard guild quest, he is capable of getting 56 seconds remaining with ease. Yet for Nightmare Plus, they just decided to completely cuck him for no reason because they just gave the mobs way too much defense. It was a times three damage GQ uh, rule and uh, just completely screwed him over like for no reason. And keep in mind, these times three damage GQ rotations don't even have proper killer stickers to them. Like you just can't take advantage of that whatsoever. And you're pretty much forced to bring him a Sangha if you want an increased killer effect. So that's even worse. But now, uh, yeah, going into the uh, whole point of Rukia, this is what I have done so far. I have recorded both a run in Very Hard Guild Quest and Nightmare Difficulty with this exact same setup that you see right here. The 5 star plus badge, pill, and the Masanga, triple max transcendent links, and Rukia is only 1-5 with the focus bonus ability. What you're seeing here is the same exact team for both difficulties with Shuhei being able to buff Rukia with the Mugetsu link, and then Tsukishima with complete full stamina damage boost, and is completely 2-5+, uh, plus. and uh, we already did a run for the very hard difficulty directly, which you guys are about to see in a minute. Anywho, the main problem all along for this character is pretty much the SA2 not being able to inflict status summons, but what you can do is pretty crazy, like you can just pop the SA3 directly to one-shot the first boss, and then go for the SA1 into the 2, and then just completely proceed accordingly. You do have a wave where you waste time and don't have as much cooldowns, but that's pretty much going to be your turning point to use the Soul Bomb, which I forgot to mention, the Soul Bomb, sadly, for whatever reason, she doesn't even have Devastation. And since her selling point was the Soul Bomb, yeah, they fumbled on that. But uh, yeah, as you guys saw, we got almost 47 seconds remaining at 1-5. If you have her 2-5+, plus, you can definitely get to 50 seconds remaining with this character. But other than that, really good, already 10 times better than uh, Yumi Chika overall at 1-5. And then finally, the Nightmare difficulty. This was a bit more tricky because on average, I was able to get like 27, 28 seconds. But here, uh, I managed to get a really good score. But once again, the one thing that was holding us back was mainly the SA2 with the long cooldown, not being able to inflict ailments. You guys get the whole point. But I was still doing just fine with the SA1 and SA3, like it being the 1170 in front, the fact that I can just aim it, get the job done, and being able to clear out enemy mobs uh, was pretty much good. And here, NAD units are definitely key, so if you do not have Shunsui, uh, you're not going to be getting a faster score, and the reason why Tsukishima was able to do really nicely is because I kept the full stamp 100% untouched, and just like that, I cleared 
with 32 seconds remaining. And this is 1-5. So, other than that, I think the character is really good. She is a flawed character. But for the many people out there saying this character is trash, terrible, no she is not. No she is not. If you want a trash character that is made for guild quests, and only for guild quests, that goes to Masaki. I'm sorry, but she is the prime example of having a barrage attack with a really bad SA1, and if you have the same spread out mobs, oh yeah, Masaki's gonna pretty much do even worse. Even if you can stop the enemy mobs, you can paralyze them and do like freaking 60% more freaking damage to paralyzed enemies, whatever the buffs were. Like, this is a much better release than Misaki, but I am going to agree that Rukia should have been a lot better overall. If you guys ask me, she was still one of the better highlights of Core 2 besides Kenpachi and Remy, and it is disappointing to see that they kind of cucked her with the Soul Bomb and the overall second strong attack. It needed to be something better, and she needed an EX move. And that's where I'm going to completely agree. But, um, yeah, there you guys go. Rukia is... Pretty good, she does this job, it's just pretty much at this point, the people that are having problems with even using her in Gale Quest, it's pretty much a skill issue at this point. Like, Nightmare, it's to be expected at this point, because they for whatever reason love to cut these damage times 3 GQ rotations every single damn time we get there. Like, good example is 9th Anniversary Kenpachi once again, and they have done it once again for Rukia. So, there's that. Thank you guys for watching, if you guys have enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and all that good stuff. Hit the bell notification as well. So, uh, yeah. Y'all have a wonderful day, lads. Peace out. Take care. Sayonara. Ciao, ciao.